hi guys it's Sylvia welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video I have another lovely crochet cover for you but this time we are going to make a cover for the toddlers so for today's project I am going to use this super 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 soft baby yarn so for this project we are going to also use eight millimeter hook then you're gonna need some scissors yarn needle and also it's optional but also you can use the buttons the choice is yours and uh, i am going to show you how does it look with the buttons in the end and also some measuring tape this yarn is super chunky so i'll be using eight millimeter hook but if you want your gaps to be smaller than uh, my cowl here let me just show you so this is my son's cowl and the gaps are quite big but as this yarn is really nice and chunky it, it keeps you very very warm and um and uh the gaps are i think just right but if you want your gaps to be smaller then i recommend to use a size hook uh six or seven as always hold your yarn tail wrap the yarn around your two fingers and create a cross go under your first one on top of the second one go down and twist your hook and release and we are going to chain a really long chain so for my toddler's um, cowl, you need to get around 80 centimeters. So it depends on the hook and uh, the yarn you'll be using. Please chain as many as you need until you get, get around 80 centimeters. Okay, so yarn over, go through, yarn over. Pull through, yarn over, pull through. So I chained around 55 chains, and that's my 80 centimeters long chain. So for round two, we are going to do half double crochet all the way down. So we are going to skip this chain and we're gonna work into this second one so we're gonna yarn over insert your hook it's a little bit tricky to see yarn over again pull through and you're gonna get three loops on your hook yarn over again and pull through all three and again yarn over insert your hook yarn over again Pull through, you get three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. As this yarn is really nice and chunky and you don't really need to use any complicated stitches, I would just recommend single, single crochet or half double or double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, pull through. Yarn over again and pull through all three loops. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, yarn over again and pull through all three. And again, yarn over half double crochet, insert into the next stage, yarn over. Yarn over again and pull through all three. Simple half double crochet all the way down, and I meet you in the end. So I'm finishing my round, and I have last three stitches left. Just take this aside. Yarn over, insert your hook, 
your loops you know again pull through all three and the last one here you know what and pull through all three and we are going to chain one and simply turn our work so we chain one and we are going to do exactly this i'm gonna yarn over and insert our hook in this this one here this stitch here not this one in this second one here so we are now and insert your hook under this both loops like this you are now you are now again and pull through all three loops and again into the next stitch you are now insert your hook yarn over three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops yarn over insert your hook three loops and do these half double crochet all the way down again and do as many rows as you would like your cowl to be so in my case i would like to have my cowl uh, something like this so we're talking about this so for my younger son i done a 16 centimeters but it's up to you really you can you can do it higher or lower it's up to you so um let's just do the same let's just do 17 centimeters so i'm finishing my row and this will be my last stitch so yarn over insert your hook yarn over again three loops yarn over and pull through all three now chain one and turn your work and this is it really you gonna do exactly the same like we did before gonna skip this one and we're gonna work into the next one here so yarn over half double crochet insert your hook three loops yarn over and pull through all three super easy cowl And with this yarn, super soft. My, my son loves it so much. And it sits so nicely around his neck as well. We are nowhere. Insert your hook. You are nowhere. Three loops. You are nowhere. And carry on until you get as white cowl as you want. So I have just finished my cowl. This is this was my last stitch here. And I think I am going to stay with this size. So I got my one 17 centimeters uh, wide. So this is what I want. But if you want uh, your cowl to be wider, then carry on and do as many rows. So the as next you. step, don't cut anything off. For the next step, I am going to show you how to fold it. So we are going to fold it like this. Keep the yarn on your hook. And uh, we are going to fold it like so. So our corners or edges are nicely like this. And the gap. For your neck is here so if your cowl gets longer the gap around your neck will get bigger as well so if you make your cowl shorter and wider the hole for your neck will be much smaller as well but don't worry even if we stitch around 
your cabo, there is always a really big gap to squeeze your head through. So don't worry, I'll show you what to do next. If you have pins, you can help yourself and pin it around so it's not going to move too much. I always use the pins because I don't want my cowl to move. To move. And just pin it around like this. So for next step, we are going to stitch around this edge. I'm going to go down and finish on the other side, okay? So what we want to do first, we want to insert our hook here and wrap your hook around the yarn and bring it up like so and create like a slip stitch here, just like this. And i show you why just in a sec. So now we have our yarn where we want it to be. So it's going to be on the bottom and your loop on the top. Now insert your hook about somewhere here. It doesn't have to be in the gap here, but it can be. So just insert your hook, wrap the yarn around your hook and bring it up like so. And we're going to do like a slip stitch on top, just like this. So next one will be somewhere here, around one centimeter. So insert your hook again, wrap it around your hook of the yarn, bring it up and straight through that loop like this. Into the next one. Wrap it around your hook and pull it through that loop into the next one. Bring it up and through the loop. So we got this nice stitching on top. But you also can go around, of course. But, um, I just like the way this look. Okay, so into the next one, insert your hook and through that loop, just like so. Into the next one, bring it up and through that loop, into the next. There we go. If you uh, go a little bit down, further down, you can get uh, bigger stitches as well. So it's up to you how big uh, do you want your stitches to be. Okay, so insert your hook, bring it up and through that loop. One more here in the corner, up and through that loop. Now we're going to turn our work this way. And we're going to do exactly the same, make it nice so it sits on top of each other. And we're going to go down now, bring it up and through that loop. And again, and through that loop. Further down and through that loop. Bring it up and through the loop. Bring it up and through the loop. And through the loop. And we are nearly. Don't need this anymore. And we need maybe one more stitch here. Let me do, let me do it here, like this, and you can finish it with a slip stitch like this, 
all you need to do now fast enough and hide your ends just hide the ends it can go somewhere inside the ends you can also use your hook because they got quite big cups And that's where we go now. So let's get the pins out. We don't need them anymore. And it's looking amazing. So remember, the longer you got your carbo, the bigger gap you will get here for your head. And also, you can add the button here. And you can go, you can close it like so. But you don't have to because this is closed. And once you pull it, um, once you put it on your toddler, you will see how nicely it sits around the neck. Please subscribe to my channel, like my video, share my video, and leave me the comments. Thank you very much.